If you've driven through downtown Kalamazoo lately, you've likely noticed one of its main streets got a makeover. News Ace David Horak walks us through the new layout and why they're doing it. Michigan Avenue has been a sea of orange over the last few weeks, most recently due to patchwork and seal coating. And while it's not expected to be reconfigured into a two-way street until at least 2026, the city's traffic engineer says that this maintenance work gave them the go-ahead to start implementing similar lane reduction measures. Michigan Avenue had as many as five lanes of traffic, not including on-street parking and turn lanes at intersections like West Nash. Walk sign is on to cross Michigan Avenue. Now it's down to three with on-street parking moved out from the curb. Just like on Park and West Nash, by reducing some lanes and narrowing them up a bit, we end up with some extra pavement. The extra pavement is enough for a two-way bicycle track, allowing people to get around on two wheels, not just four. Probably not as much traffic as we would like, but the traffic was so bad on Michigan in terms of safety that Bicyclists certainly didn't want to go down it. City traffic engineer Dennis Randolph says two major crash factors along Michigan Ave come from drivers speeding as fast as 80 miles an hour and others dangerously cutting across multiple lanes to make their turn. There's a lot of weaving, dodging and weaving. If, you, if you're familiar, I'm, I'm sure you've gone down it and then just people cutting back and forth. According to city staff, 7% of all crashes over the last decade happened on Michigan and its counterpart on Kalamazoo Avenue. With both accounting for just 1.5% of the city's vote. But the changes to the lane layout are not sitting well with some along there. So I think in our first like week, we might have done three or four customers a day just because, and they were walkers. There are people who are walking. Businesses like Barry's Famous Pancake House, who was just days away from their grand opening, are reporting having a noticeable drop in customers or even having to close early. We had a couple of Thursdays where we had two customers from 2 o'clock until uh, like 5.30, and he just said, go ahead and close up. There's no point after that. With the servicing work done, Randolph says the only thing that's left are signs and signals. Those should take about four weeks to finish. We're in downtown Kalamazoo. David Horak, News 8.